How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the NHL GM Mode Commentary Series right here on the Armchair GM's Sports Network. My name is Kyle, and it's been a while. It's been so long since I did one of these, and I've seen your messages. I've seen everybody wanting more of this content, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming back with more of this content. Unfortunately, just with me... And my life over the last couple of months, it's been extremely, extremely busy, um, especially with work. And I've had a lot of other things happening to me in the last couple of months that have taken away from me content creating. But I'm back and I'm back with a series that you guys see in the teaser. This needs to be done. This needs to be done. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge Leaf fan. And what happened to the Toronto Maple Leafs, I can say once again, was another crushing exit out of the Stanley Cup playoffs. So what better way to come back in the NHL GM mode commentary series than to the Toronto Maple Leafs? And maybe we can win a cup this way. Let's build the team how I think the team should be built. And there's going to be a lot of changes, folks. This GM mode is going to be crazy. Because we are basically going to do a mini teardown. It needs to be done. This team is just, it can't win on its own. It needs to be done. And the way it can't win the way it is. So it's gonna happen. So here we go. We're gonna pick the Leafs. Division alignment. I I'm not good. I seen people like do like the Canadian division. I really don't want to do that. That'd be really cool, but uh I mean, can all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think yeah, there's only seven Canadian teams, so we'd have an American team in here. Um Yeah, when just wouldn't make sense. So, like, we put what? We put uh, Vancouver here. And we would put... So, Vancouver there, and then be Edmonton there. Calgary there. Vancouver. Yeah, and then we'd have one extra spot um, in the Atlantic Division. And yeah, you could always just do Buffalo. I mean... They're, they're right on the border. No, you know what? I, I don't want to mess with the divisions. We're going to keep them the way they are. We're going to continue on. We're going to continue on with the way the divisions are. And we're going to start this. No owner mode because owner mode sucks. Uh, no, CPO trades on. Yes, for sure. Morale. No, morale sucks. We're not doing that. Cap will be on. No fog of war because that also sucks. And edit coach, edit lines. No, we are going to do all of that stuff. So... Let's move on here. There they are, Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's do the rules and settings, get this shit out of the way. I don't even remember what I've had my settings set to, so this is gonna be interesting. Uh, five minute periods, injuries we will keep mm, on, but we will adjust the slider. Um, GM mode, length 25 years, difficulty superstar. Uh, trade difficulty hard, we're gonna make this authentic as possible. Salary cap on, uh, waivers on, except relocation. We're not going to relocate. Fog of War off, and what was all that stuff at the bottom? Auto scouting, yeah. Staff management off. All right, so that's done. We can leave that, and uh, game slider. So it's the injury slider that's the ho most horrible thing in this game. Um, so let's go make this go all the way down to 25. I usually find works the best, I think. Fuck, it's been a long time. No, oh, I just swore there. Beep. Beep. You didn't hear anything, YouTube. You didn't hear anything. Nothing happened. Um, but we're going to move on here. So we did the slider. Let's start career. Let's start this. Let's see if we can get a Stanley Cup with the Toronto Maple Leafs, which they do sim well in this game. But like I said, we're going to do a teardown. We're going to do this the right way because I can literally just keep the same team and uh, they, mo they might actually just win the cup out of the gate in year one. Uh, but year one. Ladies and gentlemen, since technically we are at the end of the year in the playoffs, we're actually going to sim right through year one. We're not going to do any changes, no trades, no anything. We're just going to sim right through to get to the end of the year and into the playoffs. So, you know what? I'm actually going to turn the, the injuries off so we don't have to deal with all that crap. Um, yeah, we're not doing anything. We're not doing uh, re-signings, no, none of that. And, it, and the uh, rosters are updated, so they're all the updated rosters. So, um just gonna turn off uh injury so we can just 
get through the season fast enough and get into the off season. So is the off season next year is where the hell is injuries? It's right there. The off season is where we're going to start this GM mode. So you're going to hear the, the Benny Hill music in a bit here once we forward through the calendar. Uh, but I will come back when we're at the end of the season. We'll forward through the playoffs, see what happens. And uh, we will officially start as GM mode in the off season next year. So let me do that. I'll be right back, guys. Let's cue the Benny Hill and I'll be right back.
All right. We are back. 45, 27, and 10. I don't even... Do I remember what their actual record was? It's not going to match anyways because it was a shortened season. But we will see. Oh, my God. Matthew's got the 50 goals in this one. 50 goals, 91 points. Let's take a look at the stats. See how closely it matched up to this year's. I mean, Matthews did almost get the... fit. Did he get the 50 goals this year? I don't think he did. Marner, 85 points. Elander 73. John Tavares, 70. Joe Thornton with 58. Yada, yada, yada. Does not really matter because uh, the first season is a wash because we're not doing anything through this first season. Um, we're just going to forward through the playoffs. Hopefully, don't actually win a cup. That would be an interesting thing. Um, I think the AHL is not over with, but we're just going to keep simming a few days here. Just got to get to our... Oh, God, we faced the Habs in round one. Are you serious? <laughs> this, game fucking, this game hates me. They really... Oh, they're going to make us do this. They're going to make us do this. Let's see. Let's see what the game result in this first round is. Let's see. We lose game one. We win game two. Oh boy. Oh boy. We lose game three. Oh god. Six two. Oh now Montreal is up three one. Are we going to be the team to come back? Oh god. Please don't tell me we're going to be. Are we going to pull Montreal on Montreal? Oh my god. No. No. No way. You can't, hang on, uh, where, why did I mute the music? You can't, you can't script this. So not only are we going to game seven again, we're, it's the opposite. Toronto's coming back here and winning four straight games if they win this. My goodness, if we win this game, I swear to God. Let's advance. Oh, and then we play the Bruins in round two. <laughs> you can't script this, guys. You can't script this. You can't script this. All right, it's four through the Bruins series. God. We lose game one. And we win game two. Lose game three. Lose game four. Do the Bruins beat us in five? Yes. So we lose in five. So we lose in the second round. That's fine. Again, we're just trying to get to the offseason to finally start this GM mode so we can start the teardown. Um, so let me just get through the playoffs here. Usually around here we know what the Stanley Cup champion is. Uh, looks like our Marlies are continuing to do well here. Yep, looks like they're doing okay. I actually think they just got eliminated, so. Uh, wow, Winnipeg Jets won the cup. Winnipeg Jets won the cup. Colorado Eagles won the Calder Cup. Okay, so. Um, I'd be interesting to see what happens in real life. Um, again, the awards and stuff don't matter. We're now, this is officially a start of our GM mode right here. And ladies and gentlemen, let's see how we're going to tear this down. Uh, so contracts coming up this year that we're going to have to re-sign. Um, oh, God. Yeah, let's take a look here. We got Felino, Hyman we'll have to decide on. I think we're going to keep Hyman, Dermott, Simmons, Thornton, Gale, Chenyuk, Melgan, Riley Nash, and Morgan Riley in two years. Um, again, this is a team with like limited cap space as well. I believe Anderson, too. Yep, Anderson and Dave Riddich um, is the... Who are the goalies down here? We still got Campbell. I don't know if we're going to be able to re-sign Anderson. We'll see how much he's looking for, but we'll, we'll, we'll look that up. But I really want to just tear down this effing team. So, and it starts at the top. So, uh, we're keeping Matthews, obviously. Matthews, I'm, I'm keeping him. Tavares, I'd be willing to move on from. I know it's Johnny Tavares as a captain, but I'm willing to move on from this contract because Austin Matthews, our number one center. Tavares, just like, you know, I, I just, 
I mean, he does fit on line two. We could go with Matthews Tavares. Is Matthews a line one guy with this coach? He's a line two guy. Unless we move Tavares into line one, then we got one and two there. But uh, out of the rest of the centers, you know, Thornton's going to retire. And then he wants to come back, but we're going to let him walk. Kerfoot, I'm willing to keep the comeback for the third line if he works on the third line. Um, I guess we can't see that. Uh, Galchenyuk. I don't know either. doesn't really say either. This is going to be an interesting offseason. This will be an interesting offseason. I'm willing to... Felino. God, we have him for 1.2, but I don't think we're going to be able to re-sign him for more than that. 85 overall now. Same with Hyman. I'd rather keep Hyman than Felino. We'll have to see. Um, Engvall, we'll, we're going to be fine with. Mikheyev. Marner, gone. We're trading away Mitch Marner 100%. We're going to see what we can get from him. Nylander, does he work on line two? He does. I'm going to keep Nylander and Matthews together, but we're going to trade Marner. Uh, Simmons will let walk. Malgan will let walk. Defense, we're going to keep Riley, Muzzin. Uh, how are the D pairings working here? So Riley works on line two. Muzzin works on line one. So TJ, Brody, and Muzzin together. Riley, I think we might need to find someone. Maybe Dermot. So maybe these four we keep. And then uh, I think we might let everybody else walk. Yeah, Justin Hall, we could probably trade away. Sandine, I want to keep. I just don't know where he's going to work. We'll have to find out with the line chemistry. Freddie Anderson will be a question mark. Dave Rich will let walk. And uh, we have some other goalies as well to take a look at as well. So it's going to be a big off season. Going to be a pretty big off season, which I don't think we have a first round pick. But because we are trading Mitch Marnie, I think we're going to look at maybe acquiring a first round pick. Draft lottery. Buffalo won the... Pff, they won the draft lottery in real life too. What is this game? What is this game? What is this game? Incredible. Um... I mean, we can view the draft class. I don't think I've scout. I mean, I have auto scout turned on. Um, it's obviously not giving me the... It's got a bunch of auto-generated players at 1, 2, and 3. Spike Langdon. Center. We don't need another center. Uh, uh, but 2D here for one and for 2 and 3. I'd be willing to, to trade up if there's available to get 2 or 3. To get a defenseman in there. That'd be. I think that'd be pretty smart. And look, we got some more here. We got uh, Carl Keller or... Even Brent Clark. So there's a lot of D here in the in the top that we can look at trading for. Um, so simulate to the draft. Uh, we can see if anyone's retired in our team. I believe Thornton for sure, maybe. No, he didn't retire. Okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, do we have any coach retirements from our team? The Marlies. Wherever UC Riney is. Uh, we'll skip that. Continue simming. And here we go. Starting the draft. Basically, this is the start of our, uh, our GM mode here. It's right here at the draft. So, don't think there's anything else we can do. Um, we did see the draft class. Don't need to do the draft board. Yeah, we can't really do much else. So... Let's go into the draft. I know we don't have a first round pick. Um, because that belongs to the Columbus Blue Jackets for Felino. The Rangers do want to trade number two, which is a good sign. Um, where's our next pick? I don't think we have a second either. No, we do have a second. It's a 25th overall pick in the second round. But the Rangers want to trade their second overall pick. So uh, I'm willing to make a deal with them. Let's see what we can work out with the Rangers. Uh, so we, they do want Mitch Marner. So that's going to be the uh, brunt of the trade. Let me just take a look and see if there's anyone else we're looking to move on from that we could give them. Kerfoot. Kerfoot could be one of them. But they don't want Kerfoot. Um, you know what? Let's throw Marner in there and see what we can snag from them. So let's see their rookie skaters. Do they have anyone? Oh, the other Robert. Is this, a, is this a related Robertson? Matthew Robertson? I don't think so. It is defenseman. And Keandre Miller. Ooh. Offensive defenseman. Don't have him scouted. Could potentially work on D pairing one. I like Keandre Miller. So we will throw him in there. We have their second overall pick. Be over the league salary caps. So we need to take someone with some salary. 
because of Mitch Marner's contract. And oof, uh, Chris Kreider, maybe. Oh, seven years, though. No, D'Angelo would be cool. But 4.8 for another year, that kind of puts us on a... It's a damper on our, our contract situation. Um, Brendan Smith, yeah, I mean, his contract's expiring. We can let him walk. Still would be over. Oh, yeah, that would be over by a lot. Yeah, Marner might not be... Uh, we might have to wait till like free agency to move on from a Marner. So let's uh, still think about the second overall pick here. And let's see who they want. I mean, could move on from a Nylander, but I kind of want to keep him. Um, sort by trade value. Who are we thinking of maybe? Not Brody. Kerfoot. We can throw Kerfoot in there. Uh, Justin Hall, we said we could look at moving on from. We'll throw him in there. Um, we got some prospects here. I wouldn't mind moving on from one of them. Like a Philip Hollander. Yeah, two-way. Let's throw him in there, a Hollander. And let's see where we're at trade value-wise. We do need to take a player on. We might be good with... Uh, if we took a player on here... Oh god, with the trade thing. Uh da, 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 trade value. Uh it doesn't matter. Just give us somebody this guy. Radish. Oh my god, we need to take another player. Oh, uh, okay. Uh we we got I'm gonna let the time run out. Cause it's gonna stop us here in a second here. I just know it unless we can get it in time. Can we get it in time? Can we get it in time? Nope, nope, nope. It stopped. Alright, we got trade for picks. Now we got three minutes to get this deal through, or if they might stop us here. Okay. Um so uh, so, so, so it was, it was, it was Kerfoot, Hall, and Hollander, put them through, we need to take some players back, no, 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 stop, stop the overall here, trade value, oh my god, stop it, it's a freaking game, uh, Radish, uh, some one year guys, Newell, and we'll take a third, Bieto, no, so, uh, one year guy. Here we go. This guy. Would be over the league maximum salary cap. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. Uh, you know what? Let's take someone with cap. Instead, I think it was Brandon Smith. Yeah, Brandon Smith. Because he's making a lot. There we go. That trade looks like it'll go through. Let's send it through. Kerfoot Hall Hollander for all them in the second overall pick. Rejected. Okay. Uh... Oh God, second overall pick. Uh, next year, we have like no picks. The year after, you know what? Let's try it, giving it the second for that year. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, second for 2023 and a third for 2024. Will that go through? Trade rejected. Oh boy. Um, oh God, I don't think we're going to get this done. I don't think we're going to get this done. Um, Oh boy, I don't think we're gonna get this done. I don't think we're gonna get this done. Uh, look at the players that they want here. Uh, they want Malgin. I'll throw Malgin in if they really want him. No, and the skater thing. Shit. Oh man, this sucks. Uh, this really sucks. Um, God, I can't. We gotta have like no draft picks next year. Um, a second to 2023 and a second in 2025. Give him two seconds. Does that go through? Trade rejected. Oh, um, uh, you know what? Maybe I'm willing to give up a first. You know, the 2023 first round pick two years from now, or 2024, a couple years, three years from now, 2024 first round pick. Trade rejected. Oh my god. So that first and then the year prior's second. Oh my god, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get this done. So it doesn't look like we're gonna get this pick from the Rangers. Okay. Um and I don't think there's anyone else looking the the Edmonton Oilers. The Edmonton Oilers. Who have a lot of salary cap. Okay. 
I mean, we'd be building up the Oilers by sending Marner over there, but we're getting a seventh overall pick here and possibly more. But this is where we could probably trade for Marner. Evan Bouchard will probably be part of that trade. Maybe Broberg. You know what? Yeah, let's let the clock run out here. And uh, let's see if we can make a deal with Edmonton. Let's send a pick here. All right. So Edmonton, seventh overall pick. Mitch Marnie. Who can we take back from Edmonton? So Bouchard. Would like to take him. Offensive defenseman. We don't have him scouted. We have him three years, and he's already a 78. He's got decent stats. I really like Evan Bouchard. We can throw him in there. Um, and let's get some draft picks. So we're going to get the seventh overall pick this year. I'd want maybe their second next year and like the third for the year after. I mean, that kind of maybe will go through. Let's find out. Trade accepted. All right. So we got a bunch of draft picks. Got a, a prospect with Evan Bouchard. Marner's officially off the team. But uh, yeah, he's gone, folks. He is Gonzo. Gonzo Lonzo. Bye-bye, Mitch Marner. I could have gotten more guys, but again, trade difficulty is on hard. It would have taken forever. And you know what? That's good enough for me. We acquired some draft picks and we got Evan Bouchard who's going to help out our decor uh, going forward. So let's send it to the seventh overall pick. See who we can pick up. So we got a D in Carson Lambos. I know I think he's a medium I think he's a medium elite, pretty pretty sure. But they want us to take Zachary Leroux, but I don't want to take a forward because we're taking a D-man. Um, Kaminsky is another guy we could maybe reach down and grab. Kirill Kaminsky. Dano Char, 6'5 defenseman. He's huge. He's injury prone, though. I don't like the injury proneness. I think we might take Carson Lambos. Might take Carson Lambos. Or Dylan Gunther. Oh, yeah, Dylan Gunther might be the guy to take on the wing here. Possibly a playmaker. That's a replacement for Mitch Marner right there. Oh, this guy, though. One year. One, one year. Ian Mickelson. 6'4", 204. Yep, we're going to take Ian Mickelson. Welcome to the Leafs. Medium top six. And he's a 75 overall out of the gate. Two-way, but 75 out of the gate. There we go. I love that. Let's just sim the other picks to see what we missed out on. So Carson Lambos was a medium elite. Um, but we do have a big solid decor. Medium elite with Gunther too. That's all right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with my pick. I am absolutely fine with my pick. So let's sim to pick 56 and see what we can pick up here. And what do we have? They want us to take this Caden Zenon guy. No. Um, is there anybody here? It's potential. Jeff Lees. Jeff Lees might not be too bad. Um, let's sort by potential. What does it got us? Uh, doesn't really look like much. Ooh, this guy maybe. No, four years. Is there a gem available? There's a bust, but uh, that doesn't help us. Um, the scout ranks. We're in the 50s here. Marcus Gretz guy. Um, Zach Parise. Hmm. Doesn't really look like there's much around here in this pick. Ricardo Lassard. Um, ooh, Andrew Vandenbush. Mobility and foot, this guy's slow. He's a slow defenseman, but he's, I kind of want to take a chance on him. Let's take a chance on Andrew Vandenbush. Low top four. All right. That's fine. That is quite perfect for that spot. 
Let's see what else we can pick up here with this draft. Don't think there's much more. Joel Nystrom. Might be just a guy we just take for the hell of it there. Um, let's just sort by potential. And... This guy played in A. This is a goalie? This goalie got decent A-plus league stats. Artem Valentenko. Let's take a goalie. Why not? Medium starter. Okay. That's not bad at all. Solid goalie pick up there in the draft. Um, what else here? We got uh, Giancarlo Chanton from uh, my Ice Dogs team that we cover here on the network. You know what? We're going to take Giancarlo Chanton just because he's there. Here in round number six. Medium top six. Not bad. Could be a good Marlies player. Maybe eventually make the team. Oh, no. I didn't want to trade for... Do we not have any more picks? No, I don't think we have any more picks. Yeah, same entire draft. We are done. All right, let's get into the offseason. So we already got rid of Mitch Marner. So we know line two is going to be Matthews and Nylander. Tavares on line one. Um, so yeah, let's send him to the re-sign re phase. So we did clear a lot of cap with that Marner trade as well. So let's go to contracts and see what we're dealing with with salary cap space. Currently, right now, we're at 34 million to use. So, um, so yeah, Tavares and, and Matthews are one and two punch. Uh, we're, I don't know if I want to re-sign Thornton. I mean, he's surely to go down at 82 overall. Yeah, you know, we can probably find someone else if we have to re-sign him in free agency. We'll re-sign him in free agency. So Kerfoot's there. Gelchenyuk, I think we'll probably let Walk. Yeah, we'll let walk to we're gonna blow this team up clear clear uh, this guy's for the marley's but i think we have enough marley's players clear yeah we got enough marley's players uh medium top nine this guy can get re-signed that's fine two years all right so we're gonna have to find our bottom pair of centermen so felino how much do you want he's at 33 years old wants six at four years hyman is the most important one Five, five point five at five years. I think we can do. It's solid for Hyman. I like that. Five point five at five years. We're gonna keep Hyman. Uh, Kyle Augustino. We can let walk. There's our draft pick. We're gonna give him a contract right out of the gate. Mickelson. Um, Nylander. I really want to keep Simmons. We're gonna let walk. Maligan. We're gonna let walk. Josh Anderson, we have him locked in a couple more years. Uh, Steven Nosen for the Miners, sure. Uh, 1.4, no. <laughs> uh, Nick Patan, I've seen him progress actually pretty good in this game. So uh, let's get him a two-year contract. Sabern, we can let walk. Defenseman, all right. So we got Riley, Muzzin, Brody, and Dermot. Dermot wants a contract, so he's at 24 years old probably get him for 4.5 for five years i'm solid i'm good with that it's a movable contract as well and we have everybody else there um bogosian we will let walk ben hunting we'll let walk we got evan bouchard rinson i'm going to buy out because you know f i i really you know just i could go on a whole tangent about that but he's gone um <laughs> Kelly Rosen, and we'll let Walk. Unfortunately, he got a bad rating in this game, but that's all right. Um, uh, low top four guy I want to re-sign for sure. Let's give him a contract. 900000 for three years. Lopen, we can release. Meme top six, 20 years old. Kakinen, you know what? We can re-sign him. It's fine. Uh, to Topi Miniela, low top six. Vandenbush, got to give him a low low top four contract there. And Giancarlo Chanton, we'll wait on him to develop a little bit more. Goalies, okay, here we go. So Freddie Anderson, what was he looking for? So three years, we'll put him at 34 years old, 35, 36 for 7.8-ish for five years. That's a pretty good contract, to be honest. Dave Rage, we're going to let walk. He doesn't want to stay. Who does Van Alinen? 
Because we have Campbell as a backup. Well, we're going to give another contract to let him grow a little bit. We got Ian Scott as well. We also have this other starter in the works, if nothing else works. Vandalinen. Who is this guy? You know what? I'm just going to give him a contract because he's at 79 overall. So let's give him a contract. Um, but Freddie Anderson. I really like the five-year deal at 7.8. 7.9-ish. Maybe 7.95 for five years. That's a pretty good deal, to be honest. Especially for this game. You know, in real life, he's asking for like 10 mil. So I'm good with that. Let's offer him the contract. See if he accepts it. And uh, let's sim a day here. So Hyman re-signed. That's good. Frederick Anderson signed. That's good. Dermot signed. That's great. All right. So it looks like everybody signed. Perfect. So now we're still left with 18 mil. And we have to worry about Morgan Riley next year. So we're going to offer him an extension in the offseason. Sandine, we're going to have to give a contract to. Lily, we're going to have to give a contract to. Um, yeah, so I think we're good for right now. So I don't think I want to re-sign anybody else. Anybody else that needs a contract, I'm going to let walk. So Felino, unfortunately, uh, I mean, we could, if we brought back for one year at 5.5, .5, I'm not... I'm not hating on that. He can surely fit into our top six. Let's see if he accepts one year at 5.5. .5. I'm happy to bring him back for one year. I don't think there's anyone else we need to sign, though. No. So let's just see if he signs. All right. So we got Felino back for one year. So we're at 14 mil for the year, and that's perfect. And let's just see our forwards. We got, uh, let's see. I don't think we need to go into free agency too much. One, two, three, four, five. So our top six. One, two, three, four, five. We need to have someone in our top six. Someone cheap that can fit into our top six would be great because Hyman, I believe, is going to go in line one with Tavares. So we have Hyman, Tavares, Nylander, Matthews, Felino, because he's either going to go in line one or two. And then we're going to need a, we're going to need one more. We're going to need one more because Kerfoot's not going there. Kerfoot will play in the bottom six with Engvall, Mikheyev, and we got Anderson, Patan, and Brooks, possibly someone else like a Nick Robertson. I'm probably going to bring up Robertson, to be honest. He's going to get a little bit of growth. I'll bring him up for the bottom six. So our bottom six, I think is fine. We just need to find someone in our top six. And I believe our defense is good as well. So we got Riley, Muzzin, Brody, Dermot. Then we got Hall, Lilligren, Sandine, Bouchard. Yeah, we are good for defense as well. And goalies, we got uh, Anderson and Campbell. So let's just go into free agency and see if we can find that person for our top six. So we need to find a top six winger. And it doesn't matter left or right. Let's just go into free agency finding our net. Cheap. It's going to be a cheap top six guy. Um, I'm looking maybe signing for one year. And if he fits well enough, we can look at maybe trying to extend him next year. We'll see. But uh, let's look at someone to fit in our top six. It might even be Robertson. We move that guy down to the uh, the bottom pair. Um, so forwards, UFAs. What do we got? Uh, not going to get the news. Way too much money. Um, Krejci wants a year, but he's not a winger. Got Paul Miri. Taylor Hall would be sweet if we can snag him for one year. I don't think he's gonna fit in our top six. He fits line two. It actually may be Taylor Hall. Gabriel Landeskog would be sweet, but he doesn't fit. Um Thomas Tata. Top six, he fits well. Thomas Tatar actually might be the guy, but he wants a five-year contract. Cannot commit to five years with you, sir. I can commit to maybe one year, and one team's interested already. So that may be tough to get him. A uh, Mike Hoffman could fit in our top six. Uh, Dezingle, not really. Bukestad, Brendan Sod would be awesome, but doesn't fit. Um, Nick Ritchie would be sweet as well. Get some power forward. He fits on line three for sure. This guy's a line three guy on our team, but uh, our bottom six is fine. Anthony Duclair. Duclair might be okay. He's nice and cheap. Athanasiu. 
potentially a line two guy. So I think see you maybe. Uh, Simmons, did he fit anywhere? Didn't say. Did we haven't really haven't scouted? Just weird. He was just on the team. Howla, Eric Howlich, a boy, and Estroza fits on the wing as well. Um, Bobby Ryan, Bobby Bumdart Ryan fits on line two. I mean, Bobby Ryan would be sweet for one year, and he's movable. He can be moved into the bottom six. So, you know what? I might. You know what? We're going to bring Bobby Ryan in. And no, not one team is going to go after him. One year at 2.5. We're going to offer Bobby Ryan a contract. Let's hope he accepts that. Uh, defense were good. Goalies were good. So, what I want to do, though, is look like look to fill our minor league. With prospects that are available. Josh Hosang. Oh man, I totally forgot about him. He might be... Uh, how much does he want? You know what? We're going to take a chance. A little bit of a chance on Hosang here. One year at 1.2. That, that won't hurt. But uh, let's look at some rookies here. And some AHL fillers. Um, Senishin. Let's get him a contract. Senishin. Whatever. However you say it. Two years of 900,000. Get the AHL there. Um, Sevchnikov. Oh, 1.6 though. Uh, 71 overall. Jury center. All right. So we got a center prospect going there. Um, let's get a couple more forward ones. For the AHL. Oh, we got some defensemen here. Uh, um, Palich, no, 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 Blendino, and Jeremy, Jeremy Wah. Let's give him a contract. I've seen him progress well, so I'm actually going to give him a three-year 925. Let's hope he accepts that. Uh, Belpedo. Let's give Belpedo a contract. No, I'm going to wait, actually. See if we can find someone else here. This guy, I've seen him do well for the AHL squads. Give him a two-year contract. He's got two forwards, two D. Let's up to five. That makes it uh, 30 or 43. It's right, 43 now. Um, let's keep going. Let's get some more AHL guys. Nick Baptiste. He can come down and play in the AHL. Or come back because he's got the Leaf jersey on in the picture. Um... This guy, Sherback, Nikita Sherback. Let's get him in the AHL and get some more defensemen. Let's get two more defensemen for the AHL. Uh, did I not give Blendino a contract? That I did. That I did. Guess not. Uh, not New Juleson. Anderson, sure. Why not? This guy wants three. Okay, well, whatever. Um... And Siegenthaler. Oh, he wants one mil. No. No, 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 no. Do we have anybody in the AHL here? Maybe a top six high. Ooh, I like this. This guy could be all right. Let's give him a chance. Red 10s, we're at 48. All right. So let's just get these minor league contracts signed here. What are we at for time? We're at 45 minutes. Kind of want to end this soon here. Um, no, we're not trading Evan Bouchard. We just acquired him. God, I hate the trading blocks in this game. They're so random. I actually don't think they help at all, the random trading blocks. What the hell? I don't want a million zillion trade offer, so let me just clear these. All right. It's a day, get everybody signed. Hopefully get, uh, I know we're gonna get uh, Bobby Ryan signed. All right, so we got that rookie, he signed right away. So Bobby Ryan signed, that's good. And let's get all the rookies. It looks like we're gonna, and we got Hosang signed, which is great. All right, so we got everybody signed. So now we can just sim it to, I believe we can sim to next year. Yeah, because we're keeping everyone else that's on the team right now. Um, and if we need to trade, we'll make trades for next year. So let's sim to the next season and see what we got. We will build the lines together, and then I think that's where we'll end the video. I believe so. 
So let's hope we get through the simming here. See, I'm still on the Xbox One, so simming takes a little bit of uh, time here, unfortunately. Hopefully it will... Uh, Hopefully it'll stop sometime soon. It shouldn't be that long. But yes, guys, I'm. Uh, I know I traded Mitch Marner, and I it, again, I, I I keep thinking about it. It looks like I didn't get much, but again, knowing this game, that's probably the best I was going to get, to be honest. So I'm glad we just got him off the team. We freed some cap space, and we're gonna build the team how I want to build the team. So let's go into the roster moves now and see how we can build this team. So obviously Marners or Marners, Matthews and Tavares. And we got Kerfoot there. Uh, we're gonna bring up Nick Robertson for sure. Uh, Adam Brooks potentially could play line four. Maybe we'll see. We'll come back. Um, Felino, Hyman, Engvall, Mikheyev for sure. Uh, okay, Mickelson's down there. Nylander, Ryan, Hosang, Patan, and Anderson. We can probably send down. Actually, you might keep him up. Uh, potentially. We'll give it a sec here. Uh, but Riley, Muzzin, Sandine, Brody, Lilligren, and Dermot. We're going to keep all these guys up here and see who fits and then who won't fit. We either will trade or send down. Uh, but we have a lot of defensemen down there, so it'll be interesting. We might have to move on from a couple of players, but Anderson and Campbell are there. Goalies. Oh, God, this Valayan guy is an 80 overall. Okay, so he might be replacing Campbell sooner than later. Um, yeah, let's go into the edit line screen and see what we can do with line chemistry. I don't imagine it'll be anything great, but uh, we'll see what happens. So I know Matthews works well in line two. Same with Nylander, so they'll both go down here. And then we have Tavares. Hyman works well on line one. So he'll play line one. Felino works well on line one as well. I don't think this is going to create any... Cr oh, okay. So we already got a plus three if we put Poppy Ryan with Nylander and Matthews. Okay. Let's move Hyman over here. Uh, Angval, I don't know if moving him... Uh, so Angval makes it a plus three. Kerfot makes it a plus three. Hosang makes it a plus three. Um... Mikheyev doesn't do anything. Patan makes it a plus three. So Bobby Ryan for sure. Hosang though. Hosang is a game changer here. Because if I can move him into here, we can sign him long term. He's nice and young still. He might work for our top, uh, our top six. I don't think he works well up here either. No, so. Um... Felino would be willing to move down if someone else works with chemistry, which it doesn't look like right now. We have a spot open. Let me just fill that spot. Um, who is it with? Anderson? Yeah. Uh, with Josh Anderson, who doesn't work in line one, but I don't think it's going to create any kind of chemistry. No. So, um, Kev. Might play line four with Patan and Anderson. And this might be our team. This might be our team. Yep. So we're going to have Hyman, Tavares, and Felino, Hosang, Matthews, Nylander, Bobby Ryan, Kerfoot, Engval, Mikhail, Patan, and Joey Anderson. So I think that's a pretty solid team for forward wise, defensive wise. Morgan Riley works on line two, I believe. It was Muzzin and Brody together, and Hall and Riley make a plus three. Lilligren and Riley make a plus three, and Dermot and him make a plus three. But Lilligren is the big one because I think he's a medium elite. So I'm going to switch him with Lilligren for sure. Dermot kind of sucks because he only fits on line two, I believe. And Bouchard, when we signed him, first line. Okay. Um, so Bouchard makes it a plus three with Muzzin. And I really want Bouchard playing because we just traded for him. So I'm going to switch him with Brody. Brody at least still makes it a plus one on the bottom D pairing. Um, he does make a plus three with Morgan Riley on line two. Dermont, if we switched him for Sandine. Sandine's now an 83. I definitely want him playing. He fits in the middle. He makes it a plus three with Riley. So that's where I want him. Okay. 
So there we go. I might be actually Muzzin, Lilligren, Sandine, Riley, and then Brody and Bouchard. Which, uh, Bouchard, Bouchard, Bouchard. Jake Muzzin. Muzzin, we got to keep there. Lilligren. It's a two way. But I want Lilligren to grow because he's going to be a top defenseman for us. So if we took Brody out and we put him with Dermot, does that do anything for that bottom D pairing? He does make it a zero. Um, Bouchard, we might actually send down to the AHL, though. And I'm thinking about it. Just to play. Yeah, we might have to send him down to the AHL just to play one year. And I think that's we're going to rock with this. I think we're going to rock with this D pairing. And in Justin Hall, we might have to look at moving. Might have to look at moving from Justin Hall. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, back to that line. Shoot. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, let's just auto. Let's just best lines the AHL squad. Um, now, I do want Robertson to play. So I want to throw Robertson here in line, on line four. Where does he fit the most? Yeah, God. He, so he works for the Hosang slot there, which is amazing. And we can also throw. He also can work on line one as well if we need to. So I think I'm going to keep him on line four with Anderson and Mikheyev. We're definitely going to look at growing Nick Robertson, though. So hopefully he has a good year on line four there. And we can move him up, too. So that's good as well. Uh, but defense-wise, yeah, we're going to move on from Hall. We're going to send Bouchard down to play one year in the AHL. Hopefully get some more stats. And I think that's what we're going to do. And I think we're going to end it off here. And then we can start uh, simming in the next video. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's happy, we're happy to get some content back. And we're going to continue on with the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs here. Seeing we can uh, get them to a Stanley Cup. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Any comments you guys want to make, anything you guys think I should do, let me know down in the comments. I do appreciate it. Make sure you're smashing the like button. You're also subscribing to the channel. Hit that subscribe button right here on the Armchair GM Sports Network. By the fans, for the fans. I'll see you guys next time for another episode of the NHL GM Mode Commentary Series. Take it easy.